friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Melissa, the boss lady here at Crazy Love Bath and Body. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. I have my wonderful husband Ryan here again. Hello. You guys loved his video so much last time that we thought we'd bring him back. And today he's going to be making Mermaid Dreams 20 pound slab mold. So I figure why not just go big? So yeah, he's well. doing Absolutely. a multicolor, uh, three color soap mm -hmm. in the pot swirl. And let's get started. Okay, so we have all of our pretty hair nets, hair net gloves, we are ready to go. So I'm just gonna kinda let Ryan take control and I'll just add in if I need to. Well, I'm an expert now. I've made one, one, loaf. one, one loaf of soap, so. Sure, you're an expert. Expert. Comment down below, is he an expert? We'll see. <laughs> see right. how you do. So in here we have all of our oils. Um, they're already combined. We're gonna add our kaolin clay first, right? Yes. Okay. So in the oils, we have our coconut, olive, castor, and certified sustainable palm oil. We're adding kaolin clay to help um, the fragrance kind of stay in the soap a little bit better. That good? Yeah, that's good. All right, so now we're gonna do our lye. That's a lot of lye. So, Sorry, I'm left-handed. <laughs> Bassing him things left-handed, sorry. Um, so it'll look really full, but it'll be okay. It all fits, huh? Yeah. Have you done this before? Yeah. I'm just kind of using the spoon to break the fall of the lye going into the oils. So it doesn't splash up on me. Thank you. All right, we'll blend this. Now, when I'm blending this right now, do I take it to a trace or not yet? No, not a trace. So yet. we're just combining it. Yes. Looks like that's all, all done. Yep. All right, now we'll add our fragrance. Yes. There's that for you. All right. Now, does this fragrance accelerate or do anything no, this one should behave pretty nice. This one behaved pretty well. Oh, that's nice. Makes it easier. It makes it easier. Well, I'm an expert, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, what do you think? That looks good. That Let's see, good. are you at any kind of a trace yet? Uh, very, very, very light trace. Very that's light perfect. Trace. Okay, so you can swish it in there in the rigs container. <laughs> Okay, so now you're gonna portion it out. Sorry. Okay. I don't mean to. You know what you're doing. Because <laughs> I'm expert. Yes, I'll be quiet. All right, so we're, and these two colors are gonna be even, like even amounts. As close to even as you can. As close to even, can. okay. Yeah, Perfect. I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right. There's a lot of soap. Yeah, just try to pour from the corners, you know. Alright, so we have our three colors. So it's about even. Alright, so we're gonna color these and then put them back into here, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So what goes what color do we do first? Um, these two smaller ones are the pink and the purple. Pink and the purple. So we'll add in the purple first. Yeah. So this is orchid purple this from Nurture Soap, I believe. And do I use all of this color? Yes, all of okay. it. And then go ahead and... And then this one this is going to be our pink, right? Yes, Flower Girl. Flower Girl, but you use Flower Girl. I love this color. It's a pretty nice color. I'm going to start adding some different color, different shades of pink next year. But this soap will always get Flower Girl. I mean, the fragrance smells so good. I know, right? All right. Then the last one, what color are we doing in the last one? Azure blue. Azure blue. All right. And I just dis um, dispersed this colorant, the mica, in a little bit of olive oil, just so it's a little more fluid. That one 
one, we might need to add some more blue. But while we want to mix it up first, or do you think we'll just need more? I think we'll. Okay. okay. All right. Try that. Okay, so lightest to darkest, so probably the blue first. I would do the blue first. Blue first. And try not to over blend it because we still need to work with it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Good. Yeah. Do you want me to start with the spatula while you're doing the others? Yeah, if you want to scrape the sides. Yeah. And so you'll probably do the pink next, right? Yep. <laughs> I think that's colored pretty good. Yep. All right, so I think we're done with the stick blender, right? Yes. You want to hand me a spatula and I'll scrape the sides of this one while you're doing that one? Yes. So I like to stir in the blue a little bit more by hand just because the mica doesn't always disperse well. Um, and I find just doing it a little bit more by hand helps. All right. So now, once you're done doing that, okay. you're gonna pour each color in one corner of the mold, or of the mold, of whatever this thing is, container. Container, okay. So purple, purple, pink, pink. Okay. But it doesn't matter, obviously, which side you start on. And a little bit can go in the middle. All right, cool. And save a little bit for the top. Save a little bit for the top, okay. Did you stir this one? I have not stirred that one yet. All right, so I'm gonna do purple and then purple. Yep. In the opposite corners. So opposite that, corners. That yeah. makes sense. That's good. You go the opposite. And save the rest for the top. And save the rest. Then I'll do these in the opposite corners. Yes. Do, go ahead and do a little bit more. Little you don't more. need that much for the top. I'm sorry. More, more, more. There. So see if the purple, you want the purple to be about even with that. That's better. Right. Um, yeah, a little bit more purple. This might be a little too much on the top, but that's okay. So now we need to blow this into the mold. Yes. Perfect. Let's grab the mold. Okay, I already lined it for you. Okay. And I did the marks so that you can do your glitter lines. Ooh, glitter. <laughs> do we have to have glitter? Yeah, it's Mermaid Dreams. Oh, okay. You have to have glitter. <laughs> I guess so. I forgot to mention the glitter when I suggested we do this. So, because I know how he feels about glitter. <laughs> see the swirl already taking place as it pours. I think that's why I like this type of pour so much. It's very fun. It's kind of fun to see all these colors kind of mix, but not really mix. My hands keep wanting to help you. Yeah. <laughs> you're hard watching me do this? It is, yeah. Not that you're doing a bad job. Uh -huh. well, it's I'm like expert. driving. I like to be in control. When you're not in control, the other person's not asking the driver. Although you're a good driver. Well, thank you. You can see. I'll finish scraping that. Scrape that. Because you're driving me crazy. Okay. And you start adding the other color. Okay. You're just going to kind of do the other two colors in a row. Like, okay. Um, so that each loaf has all three colors, basically, is my goal. And then... Um, okay. Yeah. Just getting into the corners now. I don't like to waste soap, so I'm trying to scrape out as much as I can. That's why I took over the scrape. So I wasn't doing a good job? You're just not doing it fast enough. Wasn't, wasn't expert level scraping? No, but you need to stop messing with that and pour okay. the other stuff. It's so hard to stop, huh? Yes. You could sit there and play with that forever. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing? Not, not exactly what you would do. <laughs> I go in rows, I go up and down the rows, not side by side. It's fine, it's all gonna look the same, but mm -hmm. it's just funny how different we are. That's why we're perfect for each other. Yes, definitely. Do this corner because that's driving me crazy. There you go. Here's your pink. So 
very very annoying. You're okay. We have a little bit more blue, so there's a spot we want to add blue to. Okay. So this is getting a little more clumpy, is that why you want to work a little bit faster? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's a little more fluid. It'll still look good. It's just easier to work with when it's a little bit more fluid. That makes sense. And it's just the natural process of it setting up. It's not the fragrance oil misbehaving or anything like that. Yeah. I would do a little bit more in this section. Okay. Maybe a little bit. And what I'm kind of trying to visualize is when we stir it up with the um, skewer, is it all going to incorporate and every piece going to have every color? And okay. then just kind of throw this on there and then we'll mix it up. Or we'll uh, not mix it up, but. Um, make the top all pretty? Yes. Okay. Texture the top. Probably good enough. All right. I'm going to move all these containers for you. Okay, thank you. More soap dishes to do. Oh. Oh, is that the roll? If I make the soap, I have to do the dishes? Yeah. I always have to do my own dishes. That's true. <laughs> I'll do some of your dishes. Okay. So, now, what are we doing with the okay. chopstick? So this, do you want me to show you or do you sure. want to do it? Do you want to show me? So I just kind of swirl it around a little bit and I'm trying, I want to try to get pink in this section. So I'm just moving it around a little bit. Yeah. And I'm not going very deep, right? No, don't go very deep. You're totally going a different way than I would. <laughs> Y'all, he's driving me crazy. Mm hmm That's fine here. You don't want to do too much because then you'll muddy it. Um, okay, so you're okay. done with that. I'm done with that. All right. I'm just gonna give it a little me just to make sure everything settles. Okay. So jiggle. Yeah. So how do you, you're going to have to I'm going to do the do, lines this way. Yes, you have to do the lines this way. Do not go all crazy in rows. No, only, not, okay? okay. Not my other no, direction. No. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. More glitter is better because it will come off. It comes off when the wash, like when you first use it. So it's not a big deal. Um, and it looks pretty when it's all glittery. This is a lot harder than I think it looks. Right? <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging <laughs> how hard I work. Get a little closer because you don't want it to be as spread out on the soap. Does that make sense? You do, do. Okay. You do you, babe. Seriously, this is a lot harder than looks. <laughs> okay, a little more on this one? Yeah. Like Okay. Did I do it? Yeah, you did it. Pretty much? Yes. Is it, is it acceptable? It's totally acceptable. It? it looks good. Are you happy with it? I'm happy with that. That was fun. Yeah, and so I don't worry about the edges too much on this one because when you take off this um, freezer paper, uh -huh. it'll it'll clean up fine. Okay. So you're, you're done. You don't even okay. have to touch it anymore. No touching. No touching. Okay. All right. How do you feel? That was fun. It was a lot. It was a lot more to like. Obviously, a lot more so. Right. But to like pour it and make it even and everything like that. Yeah. It's a lot more. Yeah. It's a lot harder. Yeah. Now that I've been doing so many loaves like this, uh -huh. I don't really think about it as hard anymore. Yeah. It's honestly harder to do the smaller loaves. Is it? Yeah, because I That's find fun. that I overblend it because I'm mm -hmm. used to blending so long with the slabs. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. Okay, we will be back with the cut. All right, sounds good. Okay guys, so we are back. We're back. And um, we're going to go ahead and cut this loaf um, with slab. our, yes. It's a slab. It's a slab. We're gonna cut this slab with our slab cutter and then cut the loaves into bars. But we've waited. Too long? A really long time to cut this loaf or slab. How many days has so, been? Almost a week? It might be a week, yeah. which is sometimes okay for slabs to set yeah. up longer, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be, we might break a wire. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's All try right. it. Let's get this unmolded. <laughs> All right. So, so what I did is I 
Mine did all the tape. Okay. So it's just easier. And we'll just Have you ever this. seen me do this? <laughs> no, I don't. I've watched the. Well, oh, I, yeah. I've edited the videos where you've done this before. Okay, so yeah, you're doing it. Right See, I'm doing it right. See, I know how the slab mold works. And this is freezer paper, right? Uh, yes. So the corners, I like to unfold so it doesn't pinch the oh, okay. the corners. Sometimes that it like pulls it off well, a little bit more. The soap has been sitting there for a week, so I don't think it's that soft anymore. That's, that's that might be true. <laughs> that might not be an issue like I think it should be. <laughs> so hard not to help. Okay. What do I need help with? Nothing. Okay. I was gonna help you with that side. Oh, you're so kind. All right. I love the color. It looks so good. Does it? I, I think I did a fantastic job. What do you think? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Does look really good. <laughs> so hard not to like see all the sides. It's still a little soft. Um, it's pretty hard compared to where I. You normally cut it? Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll pull this off. Maybe. All right. And that is. And that is 20 pounds of our mermaid dreams. Mermaid dreams. Mermaid dreams. So, so we're gonna get the cutter and then get this all cut up. All right, so here's our custom made cutter. And we had this made by a friend. You've probably said this before, but the yeah. same friend that made our molds, our mold uh, boxes and our slab molds Just let it made this for us. So this will cut the slab into three, four loaves. Four loaves. Four loaves, um, and those four loaves match our normal, uh, match our normal silicone liners. Yes, our five-pound right? loaves. So that way, when we cut this the slab into loaves, it's the exact same size that we normally go to. Yes, exactly. We designed it that way. Wasn't that cool? Yeah, and he made our yeah our twenty-pound mold too. Yep. So yep. I was so. thinking the five-pound mold. Well, he made those mold boxes. Yeah. So yeah, those are pretty cool boxes. Saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're all over Let's the place, guys. Sorry. All is right. It, is it pushed hard Ready? against the sides? In the back. Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> right. So let's see how hard this is to cut. Perfect. All right. That did great. I'll let you show it. Thank you. All right, so take one out here, and now we have our loads. We have four of these loads. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that looks good. Did I do a good job. What do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. I think I did this a pretty good job. This one looks cool. Yeah, that's that looks right. That's really cool. Remember, pro. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely a pro now, guys. All right, so let's get our other cutter. Okay, so now we have our multi-bar cutter here. I have never done this before, so. Have you really never used it? I've never, no, I've never used this before. This is the first time. Oh, okay. So we'll take our loaf here, get it situated. Okay, and then make sure it's hard up against it. Okay, it's hard shift. against the back. You should just get little soap bends from this, right? Uh, yes. I think that looks good. You want to double check? Yep, you should be good. All right, because I'm professional. Yes, you're a pro. We all bow down to you. <laughs> all right. It's a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Just keep going. Don't stop. Yeah. It's going nice and smooth. Perfect. All right, so let's take some out from the center. And guys, what do you think? There it goes. There we go. There's it focusing. <laughs> that didn't work. I think it looks pretty. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, let's see another one. I think I did a good job. What do you think? Definitely moved up to uh, doing more dreams now. Ooh. I'm, I'm now 
Mermaid Dreams approved for the soap. <laughs> is it going to focus? Struggle. Uh, Struggle is real. Guy. I think I, that looks. And you have the glitter on top. Good. You got even glitter did glitter on top. I did glitter against my better wishes. Well, you know, it's mermaid dreams. You have to have glitter. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I know. I think it's great. Awesome. So I think we'll we'll get all these cut out. We're not going to make everyone watch. That takes way too long. I mean, that's the fun part. But it's yeah. okay. <laughs> this one looks really cool though, with the little yeah. wave in it. All right. I like them. So what did you think? That was fun. Yeah? Yeah. What What do you like more, man soap or the swirls? Uh, man soaps are a lot easier. Single Wait. color, no But I didn't no ask swirls. easy, I asked fun. This was more fun. I like doing the swirls. I think you're a professional when you can do dancing sunrise. Ooh, is that next? Because that one's four colors. Four colors? I think yeah. I have to try that one next, guys. And what do you think? And it's my very first soap I ever made. Yep. Yep. So. It's still one of our best sellers. Yes. Even after all these years. Yep. But I would say Mermaid Dreams is top second. So next time we'll see. Next time we'll see if I tackle Dancing Sunrise or something else. Yep. I think it'll be good. It'll all be right. Fun. Or an artisan soap. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe, and we will see you next week for another video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>